So that was a little disappointing. We kind of took a step back. Our speech is no longer being preserved between the flip side and the main view controllers. So let's get out of the simulator and let's have a look at our code again. All we did was write our own setter for the new speech, for the um, current speech property, and we started saving it to a file. Well, the thing we didn't do is we didn't update the member variable, which is the actual storage location in the object. So what we're gonna do is current speech equals new speech and save that and let's go run our app. Once again, we go in here and say, you know, this is our great speech and we'll be done. Now we come back in here. Oh, oh, it crashed. I wonder why that is. Um, let's go ahead and exit the simulator. Well, I will make a long story short, I went through this problem uh, when I was first learning iPhone apps because I was used to things like C++ or C Sharp where basically memory uh, reference counting was automatic. In this case, we're assigning this new speech string object to our member uh, to our member variable, but we're not incrementing its reference count. So it is being garbage collected. So what we need to do is call the retain selector on uh, on our new speech object. If you look here in the header file, that's what some of these little keywords in here mean. When we say um, property, non-atomic, retain, that's telling the, C, the uh, Objective-C compiler to automatically retain the new uh, object when it gets assigned into the member variable. Since we wrote our own, we need to do that ourselves. So let's go ahead and run this. This time, this is our masterpiece again. And we come back over here. And ah, this time it is there, uh, which is great. And so although our uh, speech is now being kept, there's another thing that we've just done, which um, with something the size of a string that small, we might not ever notice we had done it, but when you start getting into graphics applications, you definitely will realize it. We have introduced a memory leak into our application. So in the next segment, we're going to look at some of the more advanced um, tools that are available with Xcode, such as leaks, which lets us detect leaks, memory leaks in our code.